All right, a lot going on in this next problem. We're given this equation below, and our whole goal is to find dy dx. So in this case, don't forget that dy dx means the same thing as y prime. I'm going to use the y prime notation in this one just to switch things up. All right, so we want to use implicit differentiation as we go through this um, to find our derivative um, with respect to x. So on the first term there, we have 13x to the eighth power. Uh, we're going to use the power rule in this case. Um, so the eight comes down multiplied by the 13 gives us 104 x to the seventh power as we reduce the exponent by one. Now we could put dx over dx in this case, but that makes one. So I'm going to leave that part out. On this next part, we do have two things multiplied together and there's x and y involved here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our product rule, treating the three x to the 26 as our f term f function and y is going to be our g function. So you'll remember from our product rule that it's f prime times g plus f times g prime. So we're going to kind of walk through this one step at a time. Remember, if you take a derivative with where x is your variable and we're treating it like our variable, we don't need to include a dx over dx. If you're taking the derivative of a y, you need to include a y prime with that derivative. All right, so first of all, the derivative of 3x to the 26, we're going to bring the 26 down, use our power rule, multiply it by the 3. So we're going to have 78x to the 25th power. As we reduce 26 minus 1 makes 25. And then you bring g along, which is simply y. Plus, this is where we copy down our function f. So 3x to the 26th multiplied by the derivative of y is going to be 1. But because it was differentiating y with respect to x, I'm going to put a y prime with that. Finally, moving on here, we have the y to the 10th power. We got to take its derivative. So that's going to be the power rule again, 10 y to the 9th power. But again, our variable is y, so we need to include a y prime with that. Equals the derivative of a constant is going to be 0. Okay, from here, we've implicitly differentiated to actually find y prime or dy dx meaning the same thing here. This is kind of the, the big step is any of these terms that have y prime with them, I'd like them to be on the same side. So I'm going to keep those two terms that have underlined there on the left hand side, and I'm going to move the other terms that don't have y primes over to the right hand side. So what we're going to have to do in that case is I'm going to keep the three x to the 26th power times y prime, leaving out the 1, plus 10 y to the 9th power times y prime. I'm leaving those on the left-hand side. But to move the other two terms, the first two over to the right-hand side, I'm going to subtract them. So I'm going to subtract 104 x to the 7th power to move it to the right-hand side. And I'm also going to subtract the 78 x to the 25th times y to move it to the other side. Okay, so the y prime terms stay on one side. Everything that doesn't have a y prime goes to the other side. All right, here's kind of the key on this to get y prime by itself is both those terms on the left-hand side have y primes. So that works as a common factor. So we can factor out a common factor of y prime from each of those. So that's going to leave us with 3x to the 26th plus 10 y to the ninth power on that side is still equal to the same thing on the right hand side, negative 104 x to the seventh minus 78 x to the 25th times y. All right, now that we have y prime multiplied by something over on the left hand side, we simply need to divide both sides by what's inside the parentheses. So 3 x to the 26 plus 10 y to the ninth power do the same thing to both sides, 26 plus 10y to the ninth power. That'll put y prime on one side by itself. So that's how we can represent dy dx or y prime. Now a follow up to this one is we want to find the equation of the tangent line to the curve, this curve that we've been working with, at the ordered pair 1, 1. And we're going to write this answer in the form um, m x plus b, so standard equation of a line. So when we're doing this, what I have is this is an x value, 
and this is a y value, of course. Um, that's going to work as our ordered pair as we're thinking point slope form of a line. And a reminder, point slope form of a line goes y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So this is actually going to be our x1 and y1 are both going to be um, plugged in there for the one point we do know. But we also need to find what's the slope of our line going to be. So the slope of the line, hopefully you kind of recall or getting, getting to it at this point, that slope means the same thing as the derivative of the tangent line. All right, so we've taken the derivative, we've got it up above. Let's go ahead and plug in the x value of one and the y value of one. So using that exact same um, y prime that we found up above, I'm just plugging in one for each one of those x's and y's because it's the point we care about. And that's gonna be one to the ninth power to finish this up. All right, so substituted into y prime. Now with a little bit of reducing down here, I think we have negative 104 minus 78 is gonna be negative 182. And then three plus 10 is gonna be 13, which works out to be negative 14. So now plugging all of this in, remember that means the same thing as the slope of this line. We're gonna get y minus our y value of one, going back to that ordered pair on the right-hand side, equals negative 14 times x minus one, again, the x value of the ordered pair that we have from the right-hand side. To get it in this y equals mx plus b format, I'm first gonna go ahead and just distribute the 14 or the negative 14. And then we're gonna add one to both sides to get y on one side by itself. So negative 14 x, plus 15, and there's the equation of the tangent line to the curve at this ordered pair. All right, lots of steps going on here. Be very careful as you go through it, um, especially when you have an equation as complicated as this. Get everything organized and be very careful whenever you take the derivative of a y term um, or a y piece here, you wanna put a y prime with it. Um, after that, get all the y primes on one side, everything that doesn't have a y prime, take it to the other side, do a little bit of factoring out a common factor and then get y prime by itself. Y prime is gonna mean the same thing as the slope of the tangent line. All right, so plug in whatever uh, ordered pair you're given. All right, hope this helps. Good luck with it.